All right, fifth graders. Today you are going to be reading a story and answering some comprehension questions. Now I really want you to focus on rereading and make sure you understand the story. I want to talk about a few things with it as well. So it is a fable. The fable. And a fable is a story that usually has some animals. Those animals are um, usually talking like people. And then there is some sort of um, lesson at the end. Now, the animals don't always talk, but they maybe act more like people um, than animals in some stories. But they have animals, and then there's a lesson at the end. So you will read this fable, and then you'll answer the questions down here at the bottom. So circle two words with our control vowel R, as in car. So reread, look for those. Then you'll underline three words with the R controlled vowel or, as in for or more. All right. So those are the two different types of vowel sounds you're looking for. You're circling and underlining. What good turn did the animals do for each other? Because the moral is one good turn deserves another. Now, I will tell you that a good turn is like a good deed or a kind and friendly and helpful action. So what kind thing did the animals do for each other? Number four, picture these actions in your mind. How did picturing these actions help you better understand the moral of the fable? So being able to make mental images is something we've talked about before. So. Hopefully you made mental images as you were reading the first time. If you didn't, reread it. Really focus on creating mental images. Like if there was a movie made, what would it look like? And play that in your mind. And then how does that help you better understand this moral? One good turn deserves another. All right. So just do your best. Make sure you are really answering those questions with more than just a couple of words. Be as specific and detailed as you can. And let me know you have, if you have questions, as always. Good luck.